Oh hi. You sorry. Of course fool. you're gonna hate me. You could not be the chosen one. And I won't be. So just go for catacombs, la di di la. Nothing special, you know. So we've gone through for most of this part already. This time we're just gonna go at one point we're just gonna take a different turn and just go right to the boss. We weren't that far off the boss last time, but I decided just not to go there. I should take my shield out for this part. So this. Should have used it before to pack the first skeleton, but whatever. Oh wow, I rock <laughs> I hit this guy. Okay, now what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna heal. You know we went in there for the for the wayward sword. This time we're gonna go down here like whoops. Like further down. I actually gone through this part before because I actually went the wrong way first time. Which was well shit, but I guess it worked out. Somehow it shouldn't have worked out because it was shit, but whatever. And I'm gonna go to Pinwheel. And hopefully not get killed by the... Well, they're the viewers this time. I don't think I got killed last time, but they can like really screw you over. Okay, there we go. Pinwheel is probably the easiest boss of the game if you go through the game in this order. So let's see what we can do about him. Yes, this damage is real. Oh, that's Pinwheel. There we go. Even if you fight this boss at the very beginning of the game, he's still quite easy because he can easily dodge his attacks and he still takes a lot of damage even if you d don't do it in the beginning of the game. Yeah, can you like, get a lot of kindling? I know, I know. There you go. I could just gone over to the ladder to the right and it probably would have let that thing go away. Oh yeah, the mask of the, what is it called? Um. That's something important. The Mask of the Mother. Uh, it slightly raises HP, so if you do a normal run of the game and you do this boss at the beginning of the game, you, know, you might just want to pick it up. Uh, also, this part. Uh, I do not have anything to lighten up the darkness, so I'm just gonna wing it and I just died. Um, no problem, I'm just gonna go there again. <laughs> oh, hi. You sorry. Oh, don't fall down there. You could not be the chosen one. No problem. No problem. Things might actually be a little bit faster. Yeah, they should be faster. Only by a few seconds, so like two seconds, whatever. You suck. Skeletons. Yeah, if you keep on rolling, it's actually slower, so you almost catch caught up to me there. I could actually get something to light the darkness up somewhere around here, but I'm not gonna do it. Because YOLO. Okay, that's a stupid thing to say, but still. You know what my intent is. I don't care. I'm doing it like this. Because fuck yeah. 
Oh shit. Um, I'm sorry, Bruce. Please don't kill me. Oh god. Even if you think they're far away, they might still catch you. So it's a good thing you didn't. Fuck that table. The thing about Nitu is you have to get him in a certain pattern or else the fight is gonna be shit. Okay, so as again, this time I'm gonna be a bit more careful. Yeah, it's over there. There should be an enemy right around here. I'm gonna get my shield off of this. There he is. You can see his eyes glowing in the dark. You can also target him in the dark. Um, I'm gonna keep my shield out first. There we go. Giant skeleton time. Since they're skeletons, they're skill still quite frail. But he hurts like shit. And there's multiple of them. There's also giant skeleton archers, which are also a pain in the ass. Um. I was gonna follow that. Yeah, there we go. Um, bonfire. Just yes, bonfire again. Oh, I forgot what the bonfire is. I think I think I know how to get to it though. Okay, I think I need to make a runner over there. Yeah, there's a guy there. Get past him. Guy over there. He hit me, even though I had my shield up. And then we got on here. Okay, okay, we we good, we good. Now the bonfire should be somewhere over the edge. There we go. That should leave the bonfire. Okay, basically what happens over here is you're not supposed to find this bonfire yet, and cause if of course I'm unless you're lucky, I guess. Um, basically, you normally go f f f go follow the lights. And you come to a guy, and he's like, "There's this treasure down there in this hole." And you look over the edge at the hole, and there's, he's, there's indeed a lot of treasure in the hole. But then the guy kicks you down the hole, as was to be expected. And then basically you fight your way back up and meet the guy again. He's like, "I'm sorry," and he's not turning hostile or anything. It's up to you to just let him be or kill him, whatever. Also, on the way back up, you're gonna find. Uh, girl, you're gonna have to, you found earlier, and she tells you. Uh, basically, in Filing Shrine, there was this priest, who I talked to earlier. I don't know if I talked to him, but there was this priest, and at some point, there's this girl with two followers that follow her. She's like, "Oh, I'm on a pilgrimage or something," and then she comes to this place, and her two followers actually get um, get hollow. And start attacking each other and attack her, and that's when you fight her. And she's like, "Ah, oh, shit! My followers are hollow." And then you have to indeed fight the ho fight the followers on the way back up. There's nothing big, just a little side thing. So I'm gonna leave it be leave it there for today, though. And hopefully, next time when I play this game, it's not gonna be like two months ago. So. Whenever I can muster the strength to fight Nito, see you next time. So, I'll well, come back to Dark Souls once again. This time, I think I'm gonna finish it today, so see what we can do. Now, once you get to this bonfire, uh, basically there's uh, a way to get past the other stuff as best as possible, which is hug the right wall. That's pretty much it. But there's tons of stuff along the way that can kill you really fucking quickly, so... Yeah, there's still some pieces of luck in there, but it's still the best way to do it. Like that one right there will probably kill me if you can't jump over it. Because then this happens and that shit. But once again, keep hacking right wall. Now there'll be a big one right here. If you missed me, good. Keep hugging right wall. Uh, we're almost home free. There we go. Let's get to this point, drop down here and you're done. 
So I was exiting Tomb of Giants. And now we're off to this side. And basically what happens now... Oh, it, I didn't... Uh, okay, I need to get back to the bonfire. I forgot something. There you go, Homeward Bone. I have so many of these, might as well use one. Uh, I wanted to, to kindle. I can also show you the right of kindling. It's, it's, it's not a special like animation or anything, but I'm just gonna kindle this one to 20 now. So usually you can only kindle to 10, which is right now. But now with the right of kindling, you can kindle two times more, up to 20. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, also every time you kindle, the fire gets a big bit bigger. As you can see right there. It's gonna get bigger. Not a whole lot, but still a little bit. Every bit of kindling and now the fire is pretty big. Uh, oh, nothing to do there. I didn't pick up anything. No. This is gonna suck. So this is gonna be incredibly shit, but at least I have 20 Astros Flask, so that's something. Right past that one. I think it's best if you jump on this guy, not onto him, but past him. No, he takes me out of my running. And I didn't have enough stamina to shield. And I got hit by this guy. Yeah, it, it's if you get hit or not, it depends on what attack they're using. You might just get unlucky and all of them use an attack that hits you. And then you have to check Astro's Flux, but usually you survive, usually. Oops, almost fell down there, which wouldn't have done anything. And there we go. So yeah, sometimes they also fall off the cliff, which gets you a few souls, but it doesn't really matter. Also, if you're human at this point, which you probably are, if you kill that bonfire, you're gonna get invaded right here. Oh, whoa! Do, 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 do. Should have 200. Oh no, I got him. Well, I still don't have him, but there you go. Dark Spirit Leroy Paladin. I think he uses some magic and miracles. And he should be right around the corner here. There he is. And he goes 200 and I think he uses some magic sometimes. So I attack on to you, so I'm going to use the other one. Still not the attack I wanted to use, whatever it hit. Still not the attack I wanted to use, come on. Yeah, there we go. At least I like, did it once, even if it didn't hit him. Whatever. I got some stuff. Okay, try it again. There we go. Now oh, if I can hit this attack. No. I don't get it. Whatever. I have 28,000 souls, but level ups don't really do a whole lot at this point, so. At least for Nito. So I'm just gonna run, run past these guys. Yeah, if you haven't seen them before, if you do the thing normally, you get to see them at some point. Okay, this part. Let's see if I can remember. To right here, dodge. There we go. Shouldn't hit you most of the times. Like 90% of the times. Of course, you can always get unlucky. Also, a little mini pinwheel. They don't have quite as much HP as pinwheel, which wasn't all that to begin with anyway, but they have even less. Okay, here goes. Toughest boss of the run. Nito. But I have 16 Astro Stars. This is gonna suck. Oh yeah, and you start the fight by taking falling damage, so that doesn't help. Oh, I dodged. I don't know how I dodged that, but I dodged it. Okay, what I want to do is I want to try and get close to him as possible. And then hope he uses his AoE attack. Because if he uses his AoE attack, he kills his minions. They, they get reborn after a little bit, but they at least they all die. 
There you go, AOE attack. But I, I got stuck, staggered there. But I'm still got out, okay. Tamiyas will return shortly, so I have to make sure I can do something to him. Okay, the minions is back. Are back, whatever. And he didn't use his attack again. Which means I'm in shit now. Because these guys. And there goes the toxic spike, but I'm toxic anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And he probably does it again now, or I just die from skeletons. Yep, I just die from skeleton. Spike any moment. No. Oh, hi. I need to. Oh, yeah. Would you, would you mind using your attack that like, kills everything? That would be really sweet. This is why I need to as shit as naked because of all this stuff here. And I might be dead right here. Oh, he uses. Oh, jump! Holy shit, the guy in front of me got hit. I didn't. Nice. Oh, what's this attack? I've actually seen that attack before, but it missed because I was running around him. Okay, attack guys are back. I have to run again and I might be dead here. No, what the fuck was wrong with my voice there and I died. Almost though, almost. You see all this uh, and his attack is like at 40%, uh, his damage is, uh, not damage, health, whatever. His health is still at 40%, so... Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show the way to Nito once more. And after that I'm gonna cut it out if I still fail. Let's see if I can jump... Ah, oh, fuck, he hit me. I was, wasn't close enough to the wall. They are very fast, so don't try and drink. Just go for it. Oh. I think he's going for me. Oh no, he's just looking. Now he's going for me. If you have to drink, uh, drink, just drink after you jump down to that guy. And then drink before you engage him. And then go all the way down here and then drink again. And then usually some of them fall down, or one of them at least. And here on it's just trying not to accidentally fall off the edge for whatever reason. You just s slap them around the pil pillar of bones and then you just try not get hit by the pinwheels. Okay, this one again. Touch right here. Go. Fine. No problem. I probably am gonna get hit one of these days. It's always pretty close. Okay, wait for that. Go. Oh, it's off this time. And Nito once again. <laughs> 